All right, guys, we have some breaking news when it comes to Coinbase and Pepe, the latest update on the email that Coinbase just sent to their 56 million users. Here's the email. We're going to go through this entire email, what they said. We're even going to take a look at the Anti-Defamation League's website, what they said about Pepe. I'm going to be giving my thoughts. There's a few reasons that are swirling in, around in my head, maybe some conspiracy theories. We're going to put on our tinfoil hat and dissect why Coinbase would send this email to their 56 million users. If you're part of the Pepe community, guys, hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts on this Coinbase email throughout the whole video. Comment below. I go through all of the comments, guys, here today, but this just came in. About an hour ago, Coinbase sent this to their 56 million customer base. What you should know about Pepe, the meme coin of the moment. Pepe, which was issued around three weeks ago with a comically huge supply of 420 trillion tokens, has been leading the meme coin activity. The token is based on the Pepe the Frog meme, which first surfaced on the internet nearly 20 years ago as a comic strip character. And guys, whoever writes the email should have just ended it there or added some good stuff. But the next sentence right here is where it gets a little bit funky. Over time, it has been co-opted as a hate symbol by alt-right groups, according to the Anti-Defamation League. Now, we're going to take a look at the Anti-Defamation League website. This is technically true from Coinbase's uh, point of view. They did say this. They did say this. They have a whole article here. But why the hell is Coinbase sending this to their 56 million customers? Don't you want your exchange to say, hey, guys, Pepe, a token that launched 27 days ago, has over 110,000 holders, is on 50 plus exchanges, has made countless millionaires and countless people money, and actually looks like it's ready for its next leg up. But instead, they cite the Anti-Defamation League. Now, we're going to take a look here at their website, and you can see the character first appeared in 2005, and they do have some hate symbols. But here's the thing, Coinbase. It's the internet. It's 2023. There's probably hate symbols for every single character and every single icon out there. I guarantee if you Google Disney, Mickey Mouse, you'll find hate symbols. I guarantee if you Google Minnie Mouse, you'll find hate symbols. I guarantee if you Google Coinbase, you probably can find a hate symbol on Coin Coinbase. Just because people use this frog for hate symbols has nothing to do with the token that launched here in 2023. I think it's a crazy move by Coinbase to put this out there. And I honestly think that there might be some power moves here today and some chess pieces like we've seen in the past from big exchanges in this space. One of the reasons I think so, guys, is I just look at the top holder account for Pepe. Binance, Coinbase's number one competitor, owns 15% of the supply and $120 million. OKX, another huge competitor in Asia, 4% of the supply, $37 million. Qcoin, MEXC, all rounding out the top five. Huobi, another competitor, owning $7 million. Qcoin again with another wallet. Gate.io. What do I hear, guys? All I hear is top exchanges owning the top meme coin, including Gemini, a U.S. competitor here in America for Coinbase, directly competing with Coinbase, and Coinbase not even on the top 50. Is this a chess move in order to drop the price so Coinbase can buy in low in order to increase their supply? Maybe, but you can see here, it's not even hurting the Pepe price at all. It's actually helping the Pepe price. Now, let's take a look at Rodney, one of my good friends at Crypto Journey's page. He said, I'm disappointed in Coinbase. I would expect them to be a little bit more knowledgeable about Pepe. What a shame. You can see delete Coinbase, hashtag delete Coinbase is trending on Twitter. I even posted this. I stand with Pepe. Now, I didn't actually delete my Coinbase account yet. I did take my money off, but you can see here, People are going to close their account. I would imagine that Coinbase, they have 56 million customers. They're probably going to use about a million plus because people are absolutely pissed. But looking at Pepe, guys, I mean, I've been following this account since it launched on April 4th. They've never once posted anything anti-Semitic. They've never once posted anything racial. They've never once posted anything bad. They've only spread a message of positivity. So it's absolutely absurd to me that someone at Coinbase would send this email to their 56 million customers because they saw one frog emoji online with a racist blurb by it. Insane ludicrous and a terrible move here unless coinbase is doing a big chess move like we've seen here in the past before like binance has done before now all of us were waiting on coinbase to list pepe i thought it was going to happen you thought it was going to happen every exchange we saw qcoin we saw binance crypto.com bybit quobi okx uh, and ways your top exchanges in the world all list pepe this week and we were expecting coinbase to come in but now they send this ridiculous email to their 56 million customers, not talking about the success, not celebrating the wins of Pepe, but saying over its time, it's been co-opted as a hate symbol by alt-right groups, according to the Anti-Defamation League. Tasteless, ludicrous, and disgusting from Coinbase. I'm not happy about this, guys. And I think the only thing that will help this cause is if Pepe gets on the phone and gives the CEO of Coinbase, Brian Armstrong, a call today. But that's my take, guys. Like I said, let me know in the comments what you guys are thinking about this. I think it's ridiculous. I, I honestly, I'm shocked. I use Coinbase. I'm here in the US. I support Coinbase. But what the hell are they doing? Brian, 
what the hell are you doing? You guys need to fire whoever wrote that email. Tasteless email. 56 million people saw this. You guys should and could do better than that. That's my take. Those are my thoughts, guys. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. And also, subscribe to the YouTube channel if you have not. Hit the thumbs up, leave a comment, and we'll see you guys on the next episode.